Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. Today we're going to be talking about angles, just the basics about angles, um, labeling them, classifying them, and measuring them. First off, labeling an angle. When we have an angle like this, we'll have three points, the vertex down here, and then two other points. When we label an angle, we have to label it starting at one of the points, moving to the vertex, and then over to the, the third point. The important part is that we always have the vertex in the middle. So this could be angle ABC or CBA. Either way is correct, but uh, the important thing is that you could start at your first point and trace the entire angle. All right, so if we say A, B, C, we can trace it, or if we say C, B, A. You can't have, you basically have to have the vertex or the point here of the angle in the middle. We often sometimes will label an angle like this as well, where you just put a number on the interior of the angle and say, that is the angle. So we'd say that's angle one. If you have multiple angles, that sometimes is used to save a little bit of time, but usually you'll label angles from the points, making sure that the vertex is in the middle. All right? When we classify an angle, here are three different types of angles. This one here is straight up and down. This one here is a little bit wider open than that. And this one here is shorter or less of an angle. When we classify these, we start with this angle here. This is called a right tri a right not triangle, a right angle, and it is 90 degrees. You'll often see this labeled using a small square in the corner here to label and show us that this is a 90 degree angle, right here on the interior of the angle. An obtuse angle is an angle that starts at 90 degrees and then opens up wider. That's what we call an obtuse angle. It would be greater than 90 degrees in measurement and again, it's kind of opened up beyond that. An acute angle, I remember this one because it's so cute. It's just a little cute angle. Anyway, it's an acute angle. That would be like if we started at the 90 degrees and then we tilted the angle in. So the measurement will be less than 90 degrees. And that's how we would have our acute angle. Again, I labeled them in both ways, having the number on the interior of these three points and also with our letters, so we could say this is an acute angle ABC or angle number one. All right, so this is how we would classify three different angles by their measurement or by how many degrees they are. When you are measuring an angle, this is a very helpful tool to have. This is a protractor, and the protractor has a couple of important points. First off is this hole here, which usually lands right on this line. And that's where we're going to put the vertex of our angle. So if we have an angle ABC, for example, ABC, we put our vertex or point B right there so that our line, one of our legs, in this case BC, the line segment BC will go right along this baseline. And it lands right on the, the angle of zero. Then this angle we would measure up from zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, the point of 50. So angle ABC has a measurement of 50 degrees. And again, you're measuring the interior of the angle, starting at zero and moving your way up. If you have an obtuse angle, like this one now I have ABC, you start at zero and you move your way up 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. That would be a right angle, 100, 110, 120. This is an obtuse angle of 120 degrees. All right, so that's how we measure using the protractor to measure our angles. There's one more angle that we have here. We start at zero and we go all the way around, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. That's a 90 degree angle or a right angle. 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 160, 160 160, 170, and 180 degrees. 180 degrees is also known as a straight line. It's kind of a funny way to look at it as an angle, but if we said this is angle ABC, it's a straight line, it's 180 degrees. All right, that's a very important measurement to remember.
So similar to the angles we were showing before, the 90 degree acute and obtuse, this is another important classification. You may want to remember that a straight line is 180 degrees. So that is our lesson on angles for today. I hope that you can see angles all around you in your life when you bend your elbow to maybe some buildings around here. Um, that's definitely not in my area, but it's a cool looking building. And even in letters, you see different angles. So keep looking for math all around you. I hope that this lesson has been helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.